So the question is, classify the fracture according to Markowitz. Markowitz and Munin, these are two people who classified uh, nasoorbitoethmoidal fractures and nasal fractures based on three criteria. So they classified nasoorbitoethmoidal fractures. So they classified these fractures based on three criteria. The first most important of these criteria was the medial canthal ligament, the attachment of the medial canthal ligament. Second is whether the fracture fragments that are there, can they be reduced or not? And third is whether based on the accessibility of the fracture and the prognosis. Okay. So based on this, they classified the fracture into three types, type 1, type 2 and type 3. Type 1 fracture is a very simple fracture. What I mean by simple fracture is that the there are probably two or maybe three fragments that are there. These fracture line, fractures are able to communicate with each other and reduction of these fractures is easy. It can be achieved easily and it is not very tedious. Secondly, the medial canthal ligament which is present, the attachment of the ligament is to the bone and there is no displacement of the ligament. On the other hand, a type 2 fracture is probably a comminuted fracture. However, the canthal ligament is still attached to the primary bone and there is no displacement of the canthal ligament. These fractures can be, type 2 fractures can be comminuted or they are more there are more fragments that are present in as opposed to type 1. Type 3 is in which there is no possibility of reducing the fracture at all. There are so many fragments and it is impossible to reduce these fragments together. Thirdly, secondly, the canthal ligament has shown some form of deviation or displacement. That means it has lost its attachment to the bone. And because of that, the first most important thing that you have to do in type 3 fractures is first reattach the medial canthal ligament to the bone. The prognosis of type 3 fractures is usually a little less because it is there is a lot of bone loss and in such cases you will have to do bone grafts in order to reconstruct the orbital floor or the part of the bone that has been fractured. These are examples of type 3. This is type 2 and this is type 1. One important thing that we have to remember is all type, all three, type 1, type 2 and type 3, all three of them can be either unilateral or bilateral. 